Good afternoon. I'm Willie Reed, and as Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine, I am pleased to welcome you to our white coat ceremony. This event is an important milestone for our students, and, it's a, and it is a privilege to be able to conduct it even during this most unusual year when so much has changed because of the pandemic. And even though we are not able to celebrate this occasion with everyone here in person, we are still thankful to be able to host this event utilizing a hybrid format with our DVM class of 2022 present here in Fowler Hall on the Purdue University campus. And friends and family, as well as our faculty and staff joining us virtually. I also want to express our sincere appreciation for the support of our many Purdue Veterinary Medicine alumni and friends who helped to make today's event possible by sponsoring the white coats we are giving to the students. In addition to their generous giving, these sponsors also provided notes of encouragement that will be shared with the students. In addition, I'd like to thank the Indiana Veterinary Medical Association, which is providing each class member with an engraved name badge. The Indiana Veterinary Medical Association is an excellent partner in the veterinary medical education of our students, and we greatly value and appreciate their ongoing support. This afternoon, we recognize a rite of passage for our third year veterinary students. 20 years ago, we conducted our first white coat ceremony. Since then, it has grown into a beloved annual tradition that the PVM family looks forward to with much anticipation each year. The roots of this tradition actually date back to 1993 when Dr. Arnold Gold established the practice of holding a white coat ceremony at Columbia University's medical school. The event was designed to impress upon students, physicians, and the public the important symbolic role of the white coat in patient-doctor interactions. Today, this ceremony is held not only in medical schools, but also in veterinary schools across the country where it marks the passage of third-year veterinary students from the classroom to the clinics. Members of the class of 2022, the donning of the white coat symbolizes your new role as junior veterinarians. This coat indicates your, your acceptance of the great responsibility you now have toward your patients and clients as well as your commitment to show compassion and empathy and to make a positive difference in the life of every animal and person with whom you come in contact with. As you go through your clinical year, you will be interacting as veterinary professionals with our veterinary hospital clients. This is a big responsibility, but we know you are well prepared for it, and we're excited to formally recognize your acceptance of your white coat and the responsibilities that go with it. The class of 2022 voted to choose a faculty member with whom they wanted to hear advice regarding their entry into their clinical year. They selected Dr. Nikki Baird, professor of large animal surgery for this role. And at this time, I'd like to ask Dr. Baird to please share his thoughts with the class on the journey ahead. Dr. Baird. Thank you, Dean Reed. Um, hello. Wow. One thought was, I've never seen you folks this dressed up. The other thought was, you've never seen me this dressed up, so I guess we're even. Uh, my assignment today is to encourage you for the journey ahead, but we must at least glance back at the last 12 months. 
We must remember the impact COVID had on each of us as individuals and our society as a whole. Now, my personal 30 pound weight loss in 14 days is not a program I would recommend to anyone, no matter how efficient it was. Uh, and you can appreciate how much the faculty has shifted how we deliver the curriculum to you and things we did differently. A year ago, Dean Reed was recording his uh, comments to an empty auditorium to be played back later. My wife and I had the pleasure of uh, helping our daughter don her white coat from the comfort of her apartment. Um, so it's good to, throughout life to glance back, but don't ever get caught staring back, okay? So let's look forward. I don't have words to express how great it is to look out from this podium and see your smiling faces behind those masks. Um, welcome, virtual audience, to the many proud parents. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, significant others, siblings, friends, they're sharing in today's virtual celebration. But to all of you, please allow me to speak to this class of 2022. Congratulations to each of you on successfully clearing another hurdle uh, toward your goal of earning your veterinary degree. And I thank you for honoring me with the responsibility to share a few words during this exciting occasion. An occasion where I'm choosing to say it's the beginning of all the great things ahead. I do truly consider this an honor and certainly a personal highlight of, of this challenging year. You'll be my 37th graduating class joining over 4,000 veterinarians from four different universities. Starting tomorrow morning, you'll have the opportunity to be the best senior class I've ever seen graduate. Go to school every day next year thinking, what can I do to make Papa Baird proud today? <laughs> and you will make me proud. Where do I start with insights of the journey? Your clinical year will test you mentally and physically. Any Jeopardy fans? Lots of days rounds are going to seem like final Jeopardy in like medieval capitals or something you know absolutely nothing about. Okay. Uh, physically, uh, we kind of need to have this a little bit ahead of time, Dean Reed, because they really need to go home, get lots of sleep, hydrate, put on a few pounds, you know, cover the losses you're going to have this year, stock up the pantry, and uh, I see Sarah shaking her head, yes. Um, and tell your loved ones you'll see them next May. <laughs> All right, you'll have some days off between now and next May. I suggest you use them wisely to hydrate, get plenty of sleep, put on some weight. Um, and do keep in mind that, that a lot of your rotations are only going, only going to take half a day, half day rotations. You can probably get it done in 12 hours. <laughs> Okay, now through it all, seriously, you're going to have fun learning more than you can imagine. Do not forget for a minute that we as faculty care tremendously about you, your education, your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health. If we didn't care about those things, we'd be somewhere else probably making more money. Um, when I got out of my residency, I had practice offers, but I chose to go in academia because of students, students just like each one of you. And I'd offer in today's world that faculty-student relationship is more critical than ever. So you're about to embark on possibly the most influential year of your professional life. First year in practice, maybe a close second. You have accumulated a great foundation of knowledge and now you have the opportunity to build on that foundation in clinics. You have an opportunity to study under some of the most talented clinicians in veterinary medicine. You have an opportunity to show up every day, focus on the task at hand, and through those tasks become the best veterinarian you can be. You will have an opportunity to join a wonderful profession and enjoy what you do every day so that while you may go to the office, you will never feel like you're going to work. Please don't waste that opportunity, an opportunity that you worked hard to get, 
wasn't given to you. You've earned it. But make the most of it. And don't get caught up in just doing the day-to-day -day chores as you're in the clinic. And forget about that end goal of what you want to be. Uh, don't just collect the blood and submit the CBC. Think of, why am I doing this? What am I expecting to find with this? And then certainly when it comes back, you study those results and figure out what they're telling you. Don't just look at the horse jog up and down the breezeway. Think about what you're seeing. Sort out where you think they're lame. Think about what test you want to do, what blocks you want to do. Even if it's not your case, you can do those things. And uh, I would offer that it's okay for you to professionally question the clinicians. Professionally question the clinicians. Probably best not to do it in front of clients. Certainly don't do it to clients behind our backs, okay? But uh, have that conversation. You're now part of the team, starting tomorrow morning. So each and every one of you, reach high, keep your head in the stars, put your feet on the ground. Work hard to be the best you can be, but always keep a healthy balance in all parts of your life. Be true to yourself while remembering who you are and whose you are. Tackle the challenges and opportunities of your clinical year in a manner that will make the faculty proud of you, but don't do it for any of us. Do it for you. I am so excited to watch you all grow during this clinical year, and I sincerely thank you for the honor of voting me to have this opportunity to share a few words with you. Good luck, and we'll see you in the morning. Thank you very much, Dr. Beard, for those words. We also have asked a member of the current fourth year class, the DVM class of 2021, to share some words of wisdom with the class of 2022. Sarah Stram, who will complete her last day of veterinary school tomorrow and then graduate next weekend, plans to begin a small animal internship at the Veterinary Specialty Center in Buffalo Grove, Illinois this summer. Sarah, would you please come to the podium and share your thoughts? Hi, everyone. I know we got to work a lot together with ICU mentors this year, and I'm so, so proud of every single one of you and what you guys have achieved so far. And I would also like to echo everything that Dr. Baird has said. All the advice that he gave you guys is 100% true. But I do have a question for you all. So how many of you have ever counted down the days until you're going to be a veterinarian? Yep. <laughs> Um, and how many of you guys know how many days from today until you will be a veterinarian? From those of you back home um, watching from afar, there will be exactly 365 days until your son, daughter, grandchild, partner, and your friends will, be, will finish their last day of veterinary school. 365 days. Throughout the next 12 months, you'll be on a roller coaster of emotions. You will feel joy when your post-CPR patient walks out of the hospital and into the arms of their owners. You will feel sadness when you have to say goodbye to a patient that you've t been taking care of for weeks in the ICU. You're going to be exhausted after working 14 plus hour shifts back to back to back, but you'll be invigorated when you come up with the exact same diagnostic and treatment plan as your senior clinician. This is the year that you will, be, you will get to perform six surgeries in a day all by yourself. No assistant surgeon there with you. Um, you may get to scrub in on a total knee replacement or total elbow replacement. You'll literally be pulling new life into this world, foals and calves. <laughs> You'll be able to watch brain surgery sometimes if you're on neurology with Dr. Bentley. And you'll be able to be, take part in, in life-saving hemodialysis. 
I personally was able to watch an owner break down into tears after their dog's cataracts were removed and they were able to see for the first time again. This is the year you'll begin making a difference in the eyes of pet owners and changing the lives of their best friends. For those of you that are nervous or anxious to start your fourth year, just remember that this is the final step in your long and hard journey and for many of you, your childhood dream of becoming a veterinarian. My advice for you all moving forward is to take ownership of this final year. Work hard, never stop learning, and earn the title of Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sarah. Now, Dr. Kathy Salisbury, our Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, will introduce each member of the class. Dr. Salisbury, please come forward. Thank you, Dean Reed. Each of our students has a program that contains a listing of the names of the members of the class of 2022 who will be receiving their white coats. Students, when your name is called, please join Dean Reed on the stage carrying your white coat over your arm. He will help you put on your white coat and then you will have your picture taken with him. You will find your name badge from the Indiana Veterinary Medical Association already attached to your white coat and a note from your sponsor in the pocket. After receiving your white coat, please return to your seat. Tiffany Abernathy. Natalia Amaral Marrero. <laughs> Jenna Arnold. Brooke Bima. Kyra Bammer. Jennifer Bauer. Brooklyn Beasy. Taylor Bollinger. <laughs> Levi Brock. Devante Brown. <laughs> Jay Lee. 
Timothy Brunner. Sean Card. Natrine Chuck. Monica Colon Hernandez. Taylor Concanon. Leah Douglas. Jenna Douthit. Benjamin Fields. <laughs> Nicolette Fissinger. Sally Finkel. <laughs> Caitlin Gannon. Adrian Glazer. Erica Glick. Jacqueline Gonzalez. <laughs> Rachel Hanold. Madison Harris. <laughs> Katie Harris. Brooke Harvey.
Katerina Hetzidis. Emily Hess. <laughs> Shelby Hollingsworth. Anna Kern. Benjamin Kinneman. Sarah Kurdziel. Aislin Latham. Kendall Lenore. <laughs> Haley Lloyd. Anastasia Marsh. Amanda Martin. Alexandria McAnelly. <laughs> Lexi Miller. Johnny Montgomery. <laughs> Paul Moore. Lindsay Nevitt, and unfortunately she can't be here today. Haley Nowakowski. <laughs> K. 
Carrie Oaks. Alex Orndorff. <laughs> Danielle Pace. Clint Peacock. <laughs> Paige Philippi. Elizabeth Price. <laughs> Catherine Riccatelli. Aaron Ashley Ricks. <laughs> Rebecca Riggs. Diana Romero. <laughs> Elena Rosenbaum. Taylor Ruff. <laughs> Carolina Salas Gerritsen. Lane Sanders. <clears throat> Nicholas Shipper. Cameron Sager. <laughs> J. 
Jessica Sheldon. Kyle Shelton. Michaela Small. Crystal Span. Alexander Supinger. Sharissa Thompson Smith. Logan Ollery. Jamie Uren. Allison Valentine. Emily Walter. Christopher Williams. <laughs> Floyd Williams. Brianna Wilson. <laughs> Travis Wright. Aaron Yeager.
Kylie Zayner. Congratulations, class of 2022. Hey. Another important aspect of this annual event involves recognizing the special contributions of individual members of the class, which we will do now by presenting awards and, and honors. Our first award was established by Dr. William H. Jordan of the DVM class of 1973 and fellow alumni as a tribute to the late Dr. Bill Carlton, who served as the Leslie Morton Hutchison's Distinguished Professor Emeritus of Veterinary Pathology. The Dr. William W. Carlton Award for Aptitude in Veterinary Pathology is given in honor of Dr. Carlton's tireless contributions to veterinary pathology education. This year's award recipient is Chris Williams. Chris, please come forward. This award recognizes a third year veterinary student who has shown aptitude in the study of pathology through superior academic performance in pathology studies. The award consists of a certificate and a $1,000 award. <laughs> Chris is in the mixed animal track and has worked in a clinical pathology laboratory in our veterinary hospital since his first year. Congratulations, Chris. We will now recognize the recipient of the Indiana Horse Council Equine Industry Award. The award recipient is Emily Hess. Emily, please come forward. The Indiana Horse Council Equine Industry Award is given to a student who has provided the greatest exposure of the equine industry to other students. The award is chosen by peers and consists of a check for $500 and a certificate. An engraved nameplate will be affixed in the permanent plaque which is displayed in Lynn Hall. Emily is in the equine track. She is president of the student chapter of the American, Veter American Association of Equine Practitioners. Let's congratulate Emily. Uh, next, I am pleased to present the Holly Watts Memorial Award. The recipient of this award is selected by a vote of the members of the Exotics Animal Club. This year's award recipient is Tim Bruner. Tim, please come forward. <clears throat> Tim is in the small animal track and already has had several summer experiences involving zoo animals. He also has off-campus blocks scheduled during his clinical year at the Indianapolis Zoo and St. Louis Zoo to further his knowledge in zoo animal medicine. The award is a tribute to a veterinary student named Holly Watts, who passed away in 1983 during her junior year. Established by her family and members of the class of 1985, the Holly Watts Memorial Award recognizes a student with exceptional interest and proficiency in non-domestic animal medicine. 
The award consists of a framed certificate and a $250 award. Congratulations, Tim. Traditionally, a third-year veterinary student serves in the position of president of the Purdue chapter of the Student American Veterinary Medical Association, known as SAVMA Purdue. This is an important leadership role within our student body, and it is my pleasure to recognize Clint Peacock for his outstanding tenure as SAVMA president during this past academic year. So Clint, would you please come forward? Clint's term as president of Sadmer Purdue was unique, occurring in the midst of a pandemic. We deeply appreciate how he led our student body through the unprecedented challenges posed by COVID-19 and helped with implementation of and adherence to the, the Protect Purdue guidelines that impacted how our student organizations operated over this past year. Clint is receiving an engraved cross pin in recognition of his work. So let's all congratulate Clint. Well, to conclude our program, I want to share a brief special message for the class of 2022. I would like to congratulate you on reaching this pivotal point in your veterinary medical education when you begin your clinical training. The coming year will be a phenomenal learning experience. Immerse yourself in it so that you can become the very best veterinarian you can be and don't forget to have fun. I also would like to emphasize that we realize the success of our students would not be possible without the support of loving family members. So on behalf of the college's faculty and staff, we say thank you to each faculty member joining us virtually uh, today. Let's thank them, students. And thank you again to our sponsors, including the PVM alumni and friends and the Indiana, Anim Animal, In Indiana Veterinary Medical Association for helping to make this ceremony possible uh, today. Most of all, thank each one of you who joined us today for this beloved Purdue Veterinary Medicine tradition. Please have a wonderful afternoon, and for those moms in attendance, Happy Mother's Day. Everyone, have a good afternoon. Thank you.